An ACL tear is one of the most common knee injuries in the U.S., affecting up to 200,000 people every year, and of course many of them are athletes. And until recently, patients undergoing reconstructive surgery had only two choices, use their own tissue for the repair or take it from a cadaver donor. But now there's a third option, and our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what that third option is. And you um, brought a knee. I brought my little knee yes. ball right here. So ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. It's actually this little pliable band of tissue that connects the bottom of the thigh bone to the top of the shin bone. Now this ligament, this ligament here, is basically what helps keep our knee stable. Unfortunately, it can also be torn during sports that involve sudden stops and rapid changes in direction, like soccer, football, basketball, lacrosse, and skiing. Getting back to full function typically requires surgery. Try and bend your knee. 16-year-old Kelis Guzman is recovering from an ACL tear, an injury she suffered during a friendly game of soccer. I landed weird on my left knee, and so then I heard like a pop and a crack. Doctors gave Kelis two surgical options, a bridge-enhanced ACL restoration, better known as a bear implant, or the traditional procedure, which involves taking another ligament from somewhere else and then replacing it where the torn ACL currently uh, is no longer there. Approved by the FDA in 2020, a bear implant doesn't rely on human tissue. It's made from bovine collagen and bridges the gap between the torn ends of a patient's ACL. The implant is absorbed by the body, which replaces it with its own tissue. This eliminates the need to harvest a tendon from the patient's healthy knee or hamstring or from a cadaver. There is some data that shows by preserving as much of the patient's native ACL, you are also preserving some of those proprioceptive fibers that help with keeping a knee more stable. Both options have the same nine-month to one-year recovery period. Khalees, who hopes to play soccer in college, chose a bear implant to avoid using a piece of her own tendon for the repair. Aside from some expected stiffness, she says the discomfort is minimal. Now, the bear implant isn't an option for everyone. Patients need to be at least 14 years old, and they need to be skeletally mature. There is also, there needs to be sufficient ACL tissue remaining in order to hold that implant, but it is another good option to have. But obviously it means if, if you're relying on using your own body to fix it, that you're creating trauma somewhere else. So now you've got two traumas that you're trying to heal. So right. this, this alleviates that. And that's why that. this solution is yeah. really so good. Yes. Yeah, looks like okay. it. Yeah. All right, Thanks, Doc.